Hi, it's Rosie, and in this video, we are making a caramel cake. But this time around, we are making everything completely from scratch. Okay, so I am going to start off pouring some vegetable oil into this bowl, and now I'm going to pour in some granulated sugar. Next, I'm going to grab my handheld mixer and I'm going to mix those two ingredients together. My next step will be adding in my eggs and I'm going to add my eggs in one at a time. So let's just mix everything until it's nice and creamy, just like this, and now we're ready for our next step. In this bowl, we're going to add some sour cream and we're also going to pour in some buttermilk. Once everything's in that bowl, we're just going to mix it until it's nice and creamy. And now we are ready to put everything together. So I'm going to start adding in my dry ingredients, but I'm going to alternate with my dry ingredients and my wet ingredients, which was or is going to be our sour cream and buttermilk mixture. So there we are, we're just alternating. And while I'm adding everything in the bowl, I'm going to use my hand mixer and it is set on a low speed. Don't forget if you're enjoying this video, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Thank you in advance. And we're just going to continue mixing everything until everything is in that bowl and it's nice and creamy. So now I'm going to start adding in my vanilla extract. I did enough mixing, I don't want to overdo it so I'm going to fold it in with my spatula. And do not forget if you want the exact measurements for this recipe, it can be found on my blog iHeartRecipes.com. I usually use baking spray, but this time I want to show you how I grease and flour my pans. So I have two 9 inch cake pans and I'm going to just grease all of the insides of the pan and then I get some flour. I add a couple tablespoons of flour. I'm not going to need all of it, but I want to make sure I have enough and I just shake my pan around until everything is nicely covered with the flour. So any excess flour that I have from this pan, I'm just going to use in my next pan. And that is how I grease and flour my pans. So now everything is greased and floured, we're going to pour in our cake batter. And once everything is in that pan, I'm just going to shake it around so I can get rid of the excess air bubbles. And now I'm going to bake my cakes on 350 for 25 to 30 minutes. Once the cakes are done, we're going to remove them from the cake pans and we're going to let them cool on a cooling rack. And now I'm going to show you how I make my caramel frosting. In this pan, I'm going to pour in some granulated sugar and I'm going to cook it over medium heat and I'm going to let it melt down and eventually this is what it's going to look like. Now meanwhile, in a separate pot or pan, I'm going to add in some heavy cream. I'm also going to pour in some granulated sugar and then I'm going to bring this up to a boil. But first I need to add in some all-purpose flour. I almost forgot about that. So we're just going to mix everything until well combined and now we're going to bring it to a boil. I'm going to take a couple tablespoons of this mixture and I'm going to add it into uh, our burnt sugar which is now caramel. I'm going to mix that around and once it looks like this I'm going to add all of that caramel into our heavy cream and sugar mixture and it also has flour. So now we're going to let this cook for a couple of minutes still bubbling. You don't want to really over mix it while it's cooking. And then you're going to remove it from the heat and we're going to start adding in the butter. Mix everything until the butter is all melted and now we're going to remove this and at this time you would add in your vanilla extract. I almost forgot to but I'll show you where I add it. So we're going to need to do a lot of mixing. I'm going to add in all of that delicious caramel into my stand mixer. You can use a hand mixer but you'll need to do a lot of mixing. Here is where I remembered that I forgot my vanilla and now I'm going to turn my stand mixer on. Um, I think it's on like four or six, somewhere between there. And I just let this mix for 20 minutes. Yes, 20 minutes, lots of mixing. So once that 20 minutes was up, I took half of that caramel mixture and I'm going to uh, frost the cakes. The other half of the frosting I placed in the freezer and I let it sit in there for about 10 minutes. So there's the frosting. It's going to be ugly like that at first, just so you know. This is the mix. Uh, the half of the mixture that was placed in the freezer and now I am going to frost my cake with that and that is pretty much it it is not going to be a pretty cake but you can you know work with what you have do do the best you can and people aren't going to care what it looks like because it is going to be the bomb everyone's going to love it but that's it dig on in enjoy the cake 
Don't forget to get the recipe from iHeartRecipes.com. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to come visit me every Sunday and Wednesday for new recipes. See you soon.